Welcome to the biggest skate park in the Metroplex. That includes Dallas, Fort Worth, Arlington. This place is massive, 33,000 square feet to be exact. Now this park was actually built by the same people who built that insane Vans Park in Huntington Beach. So they know what they're doing. But this skate park is called Scion Skate Park for short. And yes, like Toyota Scion, that's actually where it came from. And it is a ridiculous story that I'll talk about after we take a look at the park. Since this place is too massive to point out every single little obstacle, because this video would be 25 minutes, we're just gonna go over sections. And this first section, it's just a ginormous bowl. It's massive, it's beautiful. If you go down a couple feet from the bowl, you have this giant section with two bump to ledges, two bump to rails, this crazy construction thing in the middle, and this funky little thing right here. At the lowest part of the skate park, you have two of these perfect ledges. They're, they're like street ledges. They're kind of tall, long, beautiful. Now this will inevitably be the section that I warm up at, but right by the ledges is this crazy middle area, which I think is a sheer work of genius that they came up with a design that works in a circle, but has like 15 different options. But you know what? We're going to just skate that. So let's keep going. Now, randomly in this giant concrete skate park, you have this wooden mini ramp with a spine obstacle that looks fun, but I'm not going to be able to skate it today because of all the wetness on it. But they have different obstacles on top that are very quirky and weird. It seems like they were kind of just like, well, all those other items you guys asked for, they're over here. But there's a lot about the skate park that I learned that is very weird. But first, let's at least skate. I need to skate. And that whole middle section, I think, is the most perfect place to warm up. is it used to be not allowed to wax here there was a sign up for it and I guess they took it down but that's insane That last trick took me about 30 minutes of non-stop trying, so I'm exhausted. But I feel so good, it feels so good to sweat because in New York, no matter how much you skate, you're pretty much freezing right now. Let's just see how much we're actually sweating, why don't we? I feel like it's my entire long sleeve shirt. Huh, it's not terrible. I'm sure the back is pretty significant. Yeah, there you go, a little bit of sweat. So here's the weird thing. You can actually find the name of this skate park online as Lone Star Toyota of Louisville Railroad Skate Park. Yes, I had to look at it just because it's so long or Scion Skate Park. We're skating the same skateboard. Oh, that's so funny. Nice. This kid's literally crying because he can't let a trick. I've never seen a kid do that. That's amazing. So yes, it's actually called Scion Skate Park because a local Toyota dealership got the naming rights for this entire massive park, not just the skate park, the whole park for $1.5 million. So the whole entire park actually costs $20 million, including over 10 other sports little areas, three lakes, and then just random stuff like that. So now forever, the whole entire park has this long, ridiculous name when it could have just been called Railroad Park if they were to supply the extra $1.5 million whatever. It's like if you wanted to create a donut brand and I paid you $10,000 to name it John Hills Donuts. I mean, your name would forever be associated with me, like as if I created it, but I'm only supplying a very small margin of what you're going to make from your donut business, I, I think. In that time that I was trying the trick, it took so long that the skate park actually acquired a decent amount of human beings that are now kind of populating most of what I wanted to skate. So I might just stay up here and skate with that little kid who was skating and, you know, have some fun on these little QPs, quarter pipes.
I lied, it totally still exists. How? Okay, so let's rate the skate park compared to a lot of the skate parks that I've skated, especially the ones in New York, etc. It's obviously a big skate park with pretty much infinite possibilities. It's outside, so it's a little weathered. The ground isn't always as smooth as you think it might be. There are actually a lot of cracks. If you look at the bottom of the four stair of the bump to rail that I was skating, there's a massive crack. Pretty much nobody skates down that set. It's a massive skate park, so if you are a beginner skateboarder, it might be a little uncomfortable. It's gonna be a little intimidating because everything is just over your head so that massive bowl section that I showed before there's no beginner who can really learn how to skate transition in that it also feels like every type of obstacle has a different obstacle about it so you won't just find a normal manual pad you'll find a manual pad with rough ground before it or a bump before it something that kind of adds on to something that you might just want to skate simply there's actually not even a flat bar in the skate park which I think is insane the handrail the bumps rail they're all super tall and if you're a beast and you like just X gaming it up of course every Everything might be kind of cool for you, but you don't get like any classic obstacle that that I like that most plazas that are built today have. So again, wonderful skate park, just not the kind of park that I would want to go to on a daily basis. I will probably find different types of plazas that kind of have what I'm looking for, just a good flat road. You know what, my skate park. But of course it's nice to get out of my comfort zone and look at a park like that that has so many different obscure weird obstacles to play around on. I'm glad it exists. That being said, I hope you enjoyed this video. I know I haven't been uploading in the last couple of weeks. It's because in New York it started snowing and right when it did that, I, I uploaded one or two videos and they were just so bad because I wasn't, I, you know, I didn't have the ability to really go out and do an adventure and now I do. So in Texas, I'll be filming a lot a fun videos, man. I cannot wait. But if you want to keep up with me on Instagram at John Hill, I'm, I'm posting on my story every single day, literally. And I'll be all over Dallas. And you know, you'll see what we're doing here besides just looking at that new space we're looking at. We're hanging out with Sarah's family. We're doing Christmas. It's going to be a good time. I'm really, really pumped to be somewhere where to me, it feels like hot. This is great. I love it. And it's not snowy. Take care. Progress daily and keep killing it.